Hi guys, I'm Tony Woods. I'll be taking you through the Sisney Guitar Method Fundamental Chord Shapes book number two. Okay, we are picking up with our sixth string uh, movable chord shapes. The major, the minor, and the dominant. And we are going to go to the exercises that are in your book. Exercise number one there, right underneath the sixth string bar review. Okay, so this is how you would play the exercise. We're gonna do all of these. As you notice our exercise, you've got the G, the C, and the D. If there's nothing written after the chord, if it just says G, that means it's a major chord. So when you have a G major, there's no need to write the major. You just write a G and it's assumed that it's a major chord. If there's a seven above it, that means it's a dominant chord, like the D7. If there's an M, a small m next to it, that means it's a minor chord. So let's play through the progression on your page there. Uh, six string bar review exercise number one. We're going to start on a sixth string G bar chord four times. Up to the C bar chord four times. Up to a D. Depending on what kind of acoustic guitar you have, you may not be able to make it as high as this D chord. You may or may not. Uh, okay, turn that D into a D7. We turn it a D chord into a 7th chord by lifting the pinky. That automatically makes it a D7 or a, a dominant chord. All right, back to our G. C. C minor. We're going to lift the middle finger off. That makes it minor. And back to the G. Okay, we're going to move on to the second exercise. The second exercise starts on an F chord. So, F chord for four beats. B flat. These are all sixth string bar chords. B flat, C, C7. Lift the pinky off to make it a seventh chord. Alright, back to our F. B flat, now B flat minor. Take a B flat chord, lift the middle finger off, that turns it into a minor. And back to the F. Let me make one note here. Uh, flat chords and minor chords. I, I frequently see students wanting to make a minor chord by sliding the chord back one fret. For some reason, uh, and it's pretty natural. Majority of people think that in order to make a chord minor, you just slide it back. Okay, that's not the case. Sliding it back makes it flat. So, sliding a chord backwards makes it flat. Sliding a chord forward makes it sharp. Now, if you want to make a chord major, minor, or dominant, that's what we're talking about now. But to make a chord minor, you have to change the way the chord looks. You have to change the fingering of the chord. So this is major. Middle finger off is minor. Put the middle finger back on. Take the pinky off instead. That's dominant. So don't confuse flat with minor. Okay, the last one is our E. In the case of the E chord, uh, we've got this open E chord here that we learned in book one, the key of E. We're going to move that up to the A on the 6th string, moving that to a B, changing that to a B7, pinky off for the B7, going back to the E. Now, uh, okay, up to the A next, A minor. You lift off the middle finger, that changes this to a minor chord. A minor. 
and back to the E. Okay guys, uh, if you remember how tough that F chord was uh, back in book one, I'm sure that the major, minor, and dominant shapes are going to be equally as difficult. Uh, don't worry, you've got a lifetime to get these chords sounding good, so don't get discouraged. Um, probably by the end of book number three, chords books number three, um, you'll start feeling fairly proficient, but at this point, I'm sure it's still a lot of work. Okay, that's your exercise for the six string movable bar chords. Practice hard, we'll see you next lesson.